For we meet in an hour of change and challenge, in an age of both knowledge and ignorance. Why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? No man can fully grasp how far and how fast we have come. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal, to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills, it is for these reasons, man in his quest for knowledge and progress is determined and cannot be deterred. This country of the United States was not built by those who waited and rested. This country was conquered by those who moved forward. The vast stretches of the unknown is one of the great adventures of all time. The exploration of space will go ahead, and no nation can expect to stay behind in this race for space. Those who came before us made certain that this country rode the first wave, and this generation does not intend to founder in the backwash of the coming age of space. We mean to lead it. We have vowed that we shall see space. We mean to be a part of it. For the eyes of the world now look to the moon and to the planets beyond. And we have vowed that we shall not see it governed by a hostile flag of conquest, but by a banner of freedom and peace. We intend to be the world's first leading space-faring nation. But I do say that space can be explored and mastered in a time span of about a half a century, provided a new source of power with instruments of knowledge and new rights to be won. And they must be won and used for the progress of all people without beating the fires of war, because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone.